Hello everyone, my name is Professor Wilson Kamami and my YouTube channel is also called Professor Wilson Kamami. This is where we simplify mathematics together. Today we are going to look at uh, statistics for group data. In this case we are going to look at how do we calculate mean and how do we calculate mean also using what we call assumed mean. So this is what we are going to do. Hey, how do we calculate mean? Mean We always say it is the summation of f of x over summation of f, where we know very well f is the frequency x is the midpoint. So in this case, if you want to calculate mean, it's very simple. You need to be aware of this formula. This is how we calculate the mean. Is that you need the summation, the total of f of x, and the total of f. Maybe we can uh, highlight this one by, we can solve this one by taking our example. We can take example. The same example we are going to use to calculate the uh, same mean using assumed mean, and we see how they are related. So in this case, I'm going to take an example. Let's take, we have a, a class of 10 to 19. 20 to 29, 30 to 39, 40 to 49. So we are creating a, our, a, our, we are, our example. So we have our frequency here. So maybe it's a class or it's age between 10 and 19. How many people? Uh, of this age between 10 and 19, we can say 6, 7, 9, and then uh, 3, and 5. So that our total frequency, the total of this frequency, the total of this frequency, it is 13 plus 9, 3 plus 7, this one you will get is uh, 8. That the total frequency is equals to that. So uh, it can be age, it can be weight, it can whatever. So between 10 and 19 is 6, 20 to 29 is 7, 30 to 39 is 9, 40 to 49 is 3, and 50 to 59 is 5. So you'll be given this one as a group data. So you are asked to calculate the mean. How do we go about that one? In, as you can see from your formula, the summation of f, we have already solved that one. We, go, we already know what is the total of f. So what we need now is the summation of, uh, summation. we need to get x, first of all. And we said, what is x? x is the midpoint. x is the midpoint. And how do we get the midpoint? If it is between 10 and 19, midpoint, maybe 10 to 19. So what you do, you take 10 plus 19, then you divide by 2. So in this case, you will get it is 14.5. So my first midpoint is 14.5. Again, for 20 to 29, what are you going to do? You are going to take 20 plus 29 all over 2. And in this case, you will get 24.5. So you get 24.5. You can do the same for 30 and that time. You get 34.5. 44.5 and 54.5. That's how we get the midpoint. You get 10 plus 9, 19. 10 plus 19, you get the, the midpoint. So in this case, as you can see, if you need the total of f of x, it means that we need a column of fx. What does this one mean? fx means it is f times x. So you need to understand that one. That when you want to get f of x, it means it is f times x. So in this case, like this case, we are having 6 and we are having 14.5. So if you want to get f of x, you are going to take 6 times 14.5. And in this case, when you get that one, you are going to get 87. Again, you are going to get f times x, 7 times 24.5. And in this case, you are going to get 171.5. The same case, 9, uh, our f here is 9, and our x in this case is 34.5. So when you take a product of these two, 
you are going to get 310.5 again when you get the product of 3 and 44.5 you are going to get 133.5 our f in this case is 5 and our x in this case is 54.5 so when you get the product of this one you get 272.5 so that the summation the total of fx the total of fx quorum what is the total of this one so you are going to get 87 you add this one you add this one you add 133 you add 272.5 and in this case you are going to get 975 you are going to get 975 so what it means is that when you want to get the midpoint it is you get the uh, the average of this one 10 plus 19 over 2 uh, the, uh, you add 20 and 29 the average of that one so in this case we have gotten our f of x the total of f of x and we have already gotten the total of f so what we need to do based on my formula now mean we have said it is the summation of fx over summation of f so what is the total of f of x we have already gotten it is 975 all over what is the total of f we have already gotten is as that and when you get that one when you get 975 over 30 we are going to get what we call 32.5 and that's how we get the mean it is as simple as that you get the total of f of x over total of f so you will be given frequency the total of frequency uh, we have gotten is 30 so what you only need is introduce x the midpoint then you get the product of f and x then the summation of our f of x column which we got as 975 that's how we solve the mean but now the question may arise how do we calculate mean now using what we call assumed mean so in this case uh, i'm going to use assumed mean So, uh, assume the one it means is that you assume what is your mean, and then you work with that one to calculate the exact mean. So, in this case, I may assume my assumed mean to be uh, 30.5. Let me go with 30.5. You assume. You are just assuming your mean is 30.5. So, how do we go about that one? Our formula of mean, let me say x. I can use it so that you can understand I used assumed mean. No problem, it's not you just a mean. Will be my assumed mean plus the summation of FD or of a summation of F. So in this case, uh, the, other, the other one we are using summation of F of X. This time we are using the summation of FD. So in this case, what is the D? D is the difference. D is the difference between X and my assumed mean the difference between x and my assumed mean so what i'm going to do i'm going to introduce the column here called b so what i'm going to get here it is x minus a x where x we know x in this case was our midpoint and a is our assumed mean So in this case, what we are going to do, we are going to be getting our x, what is, which is 14.5. 14.5, we subtract. What is my assumed mean? I've assumed my mean is 30.5. So in this case, I'm going to get negative 16. So again, I'm going to get x, which is 24.5 in this case. 24.5 minus my assumed mean, which is 30.5. In this case, we are going to get is negative 6. And in this case, again, it will be 34.5. So 34.5, uh, maybe I can solve that one also. I can show you 34.5 minus 32.5. We are going to get it is 2. 44.5 minus our assumed mean 32.5. We are going to get it is 12. And for 54.5, subtract that 2.5, we are going to get is 22. So that's how we get uh, uh, 
no sorry we are subtracting sorry here 30.5 our assumed mean was 30.5 so in this case it will be 4 when you subtract that one you get 4 and here you are going to get 15 14 and 24 so what we are going to do is that 34.5 you subtract our assumed mean which was 30.5 uh, so we got it is 4 44.5 you subtract 30.5 we got as 14 54.5 we subtract 24, uh, 30.5, we are going to get is 24. So the other thing that you need is that we need now FD. And FD, it means it is F times D. That's how we get FD. It is F times our D. So in this case, it will be 6 times negative 16. So it will be 6 times negative 16. So you are going to get what we call negative 96. The other one, we are going to get it is F7 times negative 6. We are going to get is negative 42. We are going to get F. What is my F in this case? It is 9 times 4. We are going to get is 36. Then we are going to get 3 times 14. Because my F is 3 and my D is 14. We are going to get it is 42. And then we are going to get my F which is 5 times 24, which I'm going to get is 120. So, my summation of F, the total of FD, the total of FD column, you are going to get negative 96, negative 42, plus 36, plus 42, plus 120. And when you add that one, you are going to get it is 60. So, I want you to see this one, is that we don't negate the negative. Because x minus a, here we got negative 16. So again, when we multiplied with our frequency, we got negative 96. Uh, here, the difference was negative 6. So that when we multiply with, the, uh, with 7, we got as negative 42. So now, what is my mean? Now, my mean will be, what was my assumed mean? We are using this one. My assumed mean was 30.5. Plus, what is the summation of FD? It was 60 all over. What is the summation of F? We had gotten it as 30. So it will be 30.5 plus 2. So in that case, it's 32.5. So if you use assumed mean, you get that 2.5. If you calculate mean direct, you also get that 2.5. So what it means that, regardless of the method that you are going to use, either you are going to calculate mean direct the way it is, summation of X, F of X over summation of F, we are still going to get the same thing as when you use the assumed mean. So in this case, that's how we calculate the mean. That's how we calculate the, again, mean using assumed mean. And with that one, I hope uh, this one is very clear. And uh, as we agreed, this channel, we are here to simplify mathematics together. So thank you for watching and continue subscribing and sharing with your friends so that we can continue simplifying mathematics together. Our next video will be on how we calculate mode of our group data. Thank you.